Tech news, yeah! Let's get the people going, huh? Woohoo! Woo! Yeah! Here are my people in the back! Yeah! Let's 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 talk about some server grade processors, huh? Woo! You are excited, but wow, I didn't expect that. Wow, okay. Intel is being besieged on all sides in the server CPU space. AMD's Epic chips with their super high core counts are becoming increasingly popular. And now Amazon has announced they've made their own server chip. It's called the Graviton. That's a hypothetical particle of gravitational energy, James, in case ah. you didn't know. Ah. And it's an ARM chip based off the Cortex A72 design with up to 16 cores running at 2.3 gigahertz. It's unclear what modifications Amazon has made to the design, but maybe this is like the Amazon basics of server chips, you know. It's nothing fancy. Since it is an ARM chip, the Graviton doesn't pose much of a threat to the majority of Amazon's servers currently equipped with Intel chips. But it's an indicator that if Intel continues to drag its feet in processor design, I mean, who are we kidding? They'll probably be fine. It's Intel. Google's Project Fi has been sort of a niche alternative cell service for those with pixels and other specific Android phones, but apparently it gathered enough XP because it is evolving. Pokemon. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. It's like, Pokemon? <laughs> Gotta catch them all, except there's only one, and it's Project Fi. Project Fi has evolved into Google Fi, rebranded, I mean. And with the new name comes support for many more Android phones, and for the first time, iPhones. <laughs> Although iOS support is in beta, because Google Fi uses multiple cellular networks, that means that switching between networks or from Wi-Fi to data might be less smooth than with the fully supported devices. You also lose visual voicemail, Wi-Fi calling, and some other features, but the no contract, cheap data, great roaming stuff, that'll all be there. Now I'm hoping Google Fi evolves one more time so that it can come to Canada. Pokemon? <laughs> it could be called Alphabet Fi. And New Zealand has become the latest country to block Huawei from building 5G networking infrastructure. The Kiwi Telecom Spark said that it was prevented from using equipment from the Chinese tech company by New Zealand's Government Communications Security Bureau, which unfortunately does not have an easily pronounceable acronym. Gusgub. The agency said the reason they blocked the collaboration was because a significant network security risk was identified. New Zealand follows Australia and the US in banning Huawei technology in some form because of concerns about Huawei's connections to the Chinese government. But, but, but they make cool phones. So, gotta weigh the risks. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Fortnite. Yeah, because the thing is, it's free to play. Check it out at the links below. Doesn't matter if you're on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, iOS, Android, or a potato. You can play this for free, except you can't play it on a literal potato. Drop out of the battle bus with 99 other players onto an island. Collect materials and weapons and defeat your opponents to be the last one standing. Destroy the environment and rebuild it to your liking. Play solo or with friends in duos and squads. Plus, season six is here with new characters, content, and pets for moral and emotional support. So jump in and see what you're missing using our link in the description below. Bound to the quick bits. We've reported a lot on Apple's lower than expected iPhone sales, and now the company is taking even more steps to mitigate the crisis. They've reduced production a second time for the iPhone XS and XR, and they've also upped the trade-in value of old iPhones if customers buy a new iPhone. I'm not really sure what else to say about this. We've kind of talked it to death. Ha, Apple's having troubles. I, I laugh at your misfortune. If you're having trouble logging into your iPhone, a company called Drive Savers claims to be able to break into a passcode locked iPhone with a 100% success rate for around $4,000. However, Drive Savers says that they do not offer their service to law enforcement. Then who's buying this? <laughs> People, you're, you, you do, if you locked yourself out. I would buy four new phones. <laughs> Before you, yeah, that's true. Well, your data. How long until Apple patches the exploit that makes this possible? Who knows, but it's gonna happen for sure. You know that padlock icon you see in web browsers next to the HTTPS that's supposed to tell you this website is secure? Well, it turns out nowadays that doesn't mean jack squat, as recent data from security watchdog Fish Lab shows that 49% of all phishing sites, as in the kind that steal your personal information, also have the padlock. So I guess now we need a new icon that indicates impermeability. You might think playing games on a phone is lame, but iPhones actually just got a bit of an upgrade over the Nintendo Switch. Fortnite 
at 60 FPS. Yeah, yeah! You are excited about this. I am always surprised by what James is into. That's right, the game runs at 30 FPS on the Switch, but the latest iOS devices now have a 60 FPS option. So watch out, Ninja. Andrew the Barista is coming for you. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Apparently we're getting more phones with camera cutout holes in the screen like the one coming from Samsung and now Huawei, the Chinese tech giant just teased a holy phone that we're going to presumably get more info about on December 3rd. The notch is dead. Long live the pimple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All day. All day, every day. Unfortunately, this episode can't live any longer. It's time has come. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back here on Friday for more tech news. Same bad time, same bad channel. Is Batman gonna be here? That's what that sounded like. I shouldn't say that then. I'm really sorry, guys. All we get is Robin. Linus. You. Linus. You're Robin, no. If anything, I'm Batman.